Hey everybody, this is Eschatonic. Um, this is my engineer uh, two-handed melee. Uh, well, it's, it's not really my build, it's actually Jaden Haro from the Runic Forms build. Um, I've kind of followed his pattern um, because I wanted to have a an engineer. Uh, I'd actually, I played through the game uh, level 100 to with my Berserker and level 100 with my Outlander and um, somewhere in the mid 70s with my Ember Mage and I really kind of had not had not played the Engineer um, and then I saw Jaden's build and I thought that'd be a lot of fun um, I think the idea of hitting something with a big hammer um, is, is a lot of fun and I've always kind of played into the play style of trading off melee hits for some kind of um, gathering in this case um, it's charge uh, as I've pretty much got um, mana covered. Anyway, let's take a look at the build. Um, uh, I've got 430 in strength. I've been really pumping everything I can into strength from the start. Um, dexterity, 53. It seems to be the magic number. Um, focus, I put nothing in focus. Um, those are just the five points um, that I started with and some gear. And vitality, I actually went a little lower, at least than the last uh, video that Jaden had put out. Um, but 47 into vitality, and I think really, honestly, uh, like Jaden called out, um, it's really a useless stat if you are using force field correctly and have um, resistances, uh, you know, relatively appropriate. Um, but that being said, um, let's take a look at my gear. Uh, I've got the Grand Architect tunic. Um, so this is a fresh level 100. Uh, I maybe about five to ten gameplay hours ago had turn 100 and now I'm really searching for, for, you know, for the Mondon's set. This is what I really like. Maybe uh, I'll get lucky in some trades, although I don't play multiplayer too much. Um, but right now I'm kind of farming for it. But right now, uh, Grand Architect Tunic, um, socketed with Eye of Grell, not doing a whole ton for me. Um, the Fantex Skull, um, I think the gold find is, is really good, especially for a fresh 100. Um, for earning all that money for sockets and enchants. Uh, a little bit of fire armor, a little bit of focus, kind of waste. Uh, plus eight melee, great, and some minion armor. I've enchanted that out with strength as much as I could, and um, dex. And we got the pair to this, um, the Grand Architect Helm. Um, large cast ember, kind of a throwaway in there, which I probably should have put in there with uh, the skull of uh, Richelieu. Reichliu, Reichliu, um, but that is a nice call. Um, again, more strength and dex. Uh, good crit, good melee damage bonus. I love this necklace a, a lot. I put a loving doll on there for, for plus 40 strength, and I think that the um, the engineer is a little bit slow um, to start with, so a little bit of movement speed um, is good. Uh, a little plus six to all damage there. Um, and that charge rate increased by 7 is great. Charge is so important with this build. Um, building charge and having enough charge to able to put up a 5 point shield whenever you can is pretty critical. Um, again, strength and dex. Uh, I think ultimately uh, when I get the Mondon set this will be uh, probably a lot closer to, to Jaden's two-hander build with just really stacking strength, but right now um, strength and Dex, got a smoke box ring. Um, I have the Wrath Lord in there for a little bit of mana management. Um, Rift Ember, again, charge is super, super key for this build. Um, some Dex and Focus. Uh, we got the Wing of the Rich Finder. Um, again, a little bit more mana, a little bit more damage. Um, strength in the enchantments. Uh, electric damage plays well into Fire and Spark, and as you'll see in a second, I've got a pretty heavy duty electric weapon. Um, this is probably the first thing to go as soon as I get a chance. Um, a, quite a bit of armor, um, a, a dex boost via enchantment, a little bit of focus, which was my last enchantment, kind of a throwaway. Um, as soon as I get a chance to replace this, it's, it's really going away. Belt of Best Tools, I love this belt. Um, I put the Eye of the Netherlord in there. Um, slow resistance, basically with this build, slow is your enemy, so the, the more you can do to uh, kind of mitigate that the better. Um, 
I the Eye of the Netherlord brings me um, some slow resistance and a skull of Trinke, uh, a little bit more mana management, plus 25 to electric damage is phenomenal. Um, and I, uh, it, as far as enchantments go, um, I've hit this quite a few times. Um, good, good strength enchantment bonus there, and um, a little bit of vitality. Um, poster and Gauntlets, uh, I threw some Pendral Skulls in there for health. Um, again, with the charge rate increased by 15%, that is huge. Um, until I get the, the full Mondon set, uh, this is really going to kind of tide me over. With a plus 20 melee weapon damage bonus, phenomenal. Plus 4 to all damage, awesome. Um, this one is enchanted out with Dex, and um, looks like I got a little unlucky there on that focus enchantment there. But again, this is a fresh 100, so uh, yeah. Um, pants, uh, Grand Architect Pants, uh, brings to the piece. Got a Rift Ember in there. Uh, again, charge rate, super key to this build. Um, I have the Grizzled Alpha, gives me more strength, which is, again, with this strength based build, super key. 10% uh, physical armor, a little bit more physical armor, some health, a bunch of dex, uh, a little bit of vitality. Um, this is probably, this is actually the newest uh, piece of gear that I've geared. Um, just replace these like old level 20 something boots. Um, again, I have the, I have the Netherlord, uh, slow resistance, super key, not being slowed down as a melee engineer. A um, little bit of poison armor. Um, 12% melee bonus, great, and then 56 strength, that's great. I, again, this is a, a new piece of gear, so um, this needs to be enchanted out. And then, really, what's kind of tying it all together is this Wraith Lord's Hammer. Um, this is a level 100. This is farmed from um, Tartarus. Um, it really, really plays well into Fire and Spark. Um, tons of electric damage. I've got a plus 6 uh, crit hit uh, Giant Chaos Ember and a Skull of Vastok to just kind of pump up that uh, attack speed. Huge dexterity bonus, um, huge strength bonus, huge charge rate bonus, um, and 90% interrupt is fantastic. That 1.5% physical damage taken for each monster within 3 meters is not bad either, but then again, you've got X many monsters within 3 meters. So, um, Enchantment wise, all strength. I've only got two enchantments on this so far, um, but plus 60 strength is looking pretty good. Um, I'll be certainly enchanting this out again. Uh, it's a great weapon. I've had it since, god, I, I feel like in my 50s or 60s, and it's been phenomenal. Uh, the, the administrator, which I had for a short period of time, um, earlier in the 50s, and was doing a little bit of mana management with it as well, as you can see with that Rift Ember. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I just kind of wanted to show you uh, what this build at this point um, can do. Uh, I can't quite, I don't, I'm not fully uh, kitted out yet, so as far as gear. Um, so, not quite super comfortable in Totaurus Extreme, but can pretty much tear, tear stuff up pretty well in um, Totaurus Light and, and looking to build this. Uh, in a way that can just pretty much own Tatoris Extreme as well. As you can see, I, like, I have a Tatoris Light portal here uh, open to floor 16, uh, where the mobs are 107-ish, something like that. Anyway, I'm going to take you into a fresh Tatoris to see um, what this build looks like at this level. Um, it's probably, you know, it's way, uh, I think, kind of earlier in the evolution of the this particular build compared to, to Jaden's uh, Tartarus run in Extreme. Fully monded it out, Mondon's set it out. Uh, but anyway, um, let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and get a fresh Tartarus light. Uh, oh yeah, and I'm using the uh, larger uh, stash mod, which I think is important when you're, uh, you know, for me, it's not really, I don't know, I don't consider it a cheat, per se. Um, this and Tataris are really the only mods I'm using. This is a completely unedited character. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. I should probably show you my skills. Um, I left a point in Flamehammer. Um, 
which is a little different than Jaden's build. He didn't use it at all. Um, I used it to level quite a bit because it was kind of really hard to level um, with this build, I thought. Um, but it was definitely worth it overall. Maxed out Seismic Slam, seismic slam of course. Um, Onslaught, I put in 10 points instead of Jaden's 5. Um, the mana reduction and just overall damage. Um, I use it a lot. Um, so to me, it was really worth those extra 5 points. Um, Emberquake is nearly maxed. Uh, just lost a, missed a point there. Um, again, I think it's worth it though. I mean, I use Emberquake a lot, but this is really more of a melee build. Um, maybe, maybe down the road I'll edit that in one point, but for now. Uh, heavy Lifting, of course, maxed out. Supercharged, maxed out. Coup de Gras, one point, just like Jaden. Uh, healing Bot, maxed out. Uh, Fire and Spark, maxed out. Charge Domination, I got five points in it, and it's definitely helpful to have more charge. Um, force Field, uh, maxed out, of course. Uh, this is your bread and butter. It's so key to this build. A mobilization Copter, I've got 11. Um, quite frankly, I don't, I'm not completely married to this uh, skill connected with this build. I almost feel like I kind of want to throw around with uh, respec and just see if you know how it works without that crowd control and without the uh, kind of debuff of the mobilization copter. Uh, sorry, not crowd control, debuff. Anywho, um, so yeah, that's what I've got skill-wise. Why don't we um, hop right into it to Taurus? I'm going to just jump in here. Yeah, I really love this build. Um, it's been a lot of fun, um, especially considering, you know, I played a melee-ish Berserker um, that I loved. That was um, my second character that I leveled to 100. Um, actually, I'm just going to quit talking. I'm throwing out my healing bot. Both of my bots. And I'm just going to play now. really important to get that five point shield up um, however you can. Um, once you do, you're in really good shape. Um, I do oh, oh, and I'm dead. Okay, well, I, I clearly haven't uh, thought about this enough here. Um, I'm <laughs> That's actually kind of embarrassing. I really shouldn't be dying so soon. But I'm going to go back to the last map. I'm, I'm not going to die. It's a little it's a little squirrely with the capture going. I'm running at a lower resolution. A little bit lower frame rate. So I know excuses, excuses. But um, let me get all of this back up and try not to die. Quake's really good for just cleaning up trash, and definitely once you've got once you've got full charge, you pretty much just have carte blanche to spam that Ember Quake as much as you want. Um, I think I actually may have a little bit better, at least at this point, um, mana management as far as how much mana I have and how much mana I'm replenishing than uh, when Jaden was showing off uh, the Taurus Elite with this whoop, same build. Oop, don't want to die there. It's not good. I really should be doing a lot more of this. Using my bread and butters. It's, it, you know, bread and butter is really seismic, seismic slam. Um, an onslaught. Just really jumping into the fray and 
kind of knocking them out. Um, you can do that a lot. Whoa. But it's really all about keeping that, uh, it's really all about keeping that, uh, Shut up for a while. But. Uh, playing a little sloppy here. It's definitely lost a few frames due to the recording, but I guess and that's fine. Just go with that, right? Oh, oh, never let your shield go down. That was absolute crap what I just did there. There's n absolutely no reason to not have your shield up at all times with this build. Uh, where am I? I think it's over here. Yeah. Oh, there I go again. I'm just not paying attention. Get that back up to five, and then just feel free to amber quake once in a while, and just really. Either soften up a room. Okay, there's a War Titan. Looks like. Is that what that is? No, what is that? Sorry, it's a Siege Guardian. Gonna do one of these. Hit him with a bunch of these EQs. As I can. Gonna throw up a shield again just to be safe. Too much, but just grabbing your ass. Oh, all right. And also, avoiding puddles is pretty. Whoa! I've actually fired off a potion or two. I don't really need to usually. I can see like 776 potions, but. I want to make this video good and not die a lot, so that's how I'm going to roll. I'm going to hit a bunch of EQs right now. I've got a full, uh, full charge bar. I've got a pretty good chunk of mana reserves, so I can actually afford that. I'm going to take out Ezra Khan, melee style. Oh. Yeah. Definitely playing a little bit on the sloppier side here. Not really using my red butters like I should. That seismic slam, that onslaught, those really are the key. You gotta get them dizzy so you can hit them. That really is a big kind of key part to the play style of this build, which is, um, you know, stun. <laughs> uh, okay. Do I not have guys on here? Where are you guys? There we go. Alright. This. Pardon my sloppy play. But oh god! And I died again. You have died. That's actually really embarrassing. Um. Hey, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in. Actually, you know what? Should I show you? No. I was gonna say I can. I'm gonna jump back in here. being really crappy with my uh, shield management. I don't know, maybe I'm nervous. I don't know. My first video, the first time I've recorded myself playing a video game for the purpose of putting it on the internet. So. Gotta remember to keep that shield up. Shield back up. And you should actually be putting on your shield. Like 
probably about 20 seconds in. I mean, I, I fired off with 10 seconds left, just to be sure. Shield management. I'm gonna get better at that. Maybe I'll see if we can track down some kind of bosses here. There's definitely tons to be had. Hey! A hot mess there. And as you can see, um, besides my my really kind of uh, irresponsible deaths there, you can really tear it up with this build. It's it's great. I can't wait to get uh, better gear on it so I can. Um, oh, I let it. I did it again. Oh, but it came back. Oh, did not die. Awesome. Let's call for a few EQs. Celebration, like firing your gun in the air. Except they're ember quakes. I'm gonna go down one more level. Just to have you see a little bit more of this. I'm way sloppier than Jordan. As you go, oh, and I'm dead. Oh, there's a shield. In there. That's really a bummer. Actually, I'm gonna probably end on that note. Um, Kind of playing sloppy, but I really just did want to show um, this build is, is is pretty awesome. Uh, I clearly uh, probably am not probably the best person playing while talking, um, but it's a really fantastic build, and I've really been enjoying playing it. Um, and uh, maybe I'll make a video soon uh, where I don't die a whole much. Anyway, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching.